my opponent, so you always draw in your mind, in your head, first uh, point A and point B. So if the point A is higher than the point B, so it means that in front of me is uh, hits, usually if, uh, if I start to lose from these grips. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to keep it here because as you can see he can follow his feet and now he can make my knee and knee and knee open and he can make my hands heavy so that he can control. So this is why if I see the feet I, I can take like this. Also you can try always to take like this. Opposite grips because when I have these grips I can also see I can use now and especially I'm grabbing not in the middle I'm grabbing the uh, toes. When I grab the toes see I can now open it and now I can grab the sheets. If, for example, the point A is lower than point B, so it means that his sheets are in front of me, like this. So I can immediately grab his sheets, okay? So this is going to be the first thing that I want from you. And uh, the second thing I want from you just to walk 360 degrees. So we start, let's say, and uh, your partner can decide. If you want, he can point his feet up. If you want, he can uh, point down. And you need to choose which grip it will be. It's like this, you go, and now you go like side steps. When you go side steps, you're trying also to keep your legs away from his hands. It's also the, the next skill that you need. If, for example, he grab your legs, you need uh, always clean. Like this, if he has one, one, uh, one hand, I don't know. Once you clean, go outside. And when you go outside, you see, once I cross his hip line from this grip, I start to change my grips here, okay? And I go here. So even here, if he's trying to, to touch my legs, we are far, okay? And now I can go again. You see again, always draw so you can see this hip line like this. Once I start to pass his hip line again, I can go again and change the grips, okay? And sometimes you can pop and grab your legs. And you see, when I want to clean my legs, I never do this because you can follow me. I always go this way. Sometimes you can use this kind of uh, grip exchange. One variation, two variations. Sometimes you will interest. Like this. Okay, and I change. Okay, let's try this one as a warm up. Just maybe one minute. And then we change, okay? Two, three rounds, okay? Any questions? Okay, one, two, three. Change, change. You need like good weight, like this, and you walk here. Also, another thing, what I would like to advise that when you're grabbing your shins, it's better to grab this side. So, this is why I don't recommend you to put hands here because you see, I can reach your wrists by my hands. So, and now I can go for left attackments. So, usually, if you're grabbing, it's better here. Yes, this way. Yeah. Again, sometimes you can try to ask your partner to just to point feet, you can go here. When you go, you see I start to twist and then go. So one more time, I go on, I make a like, side step. So, go here. And I, you see I'm putting the weight here. I'm staying on my feet, not even on my toes, like this. And I start to work. When I'm here, I'm also putting the weight. If I will not put the weight, you can just invert. Can recover that. I need to always like, here. So the only way we can, we can do is usually uh, point his hands towards my elbows. This is how you can prevent uh, no south pass. Just in case you know, for the future. Okay. And we can see to walk. Okay, I go here, I go 
here, you grip my legs again. When you grab the legs, don't do this, okay, you can go this way. If you grab again, you can go this way. Sometimes you can use your hands, but better is like just palm like this, or use your other leg. When you pull the leg, don't, don't just sit like this, point to your pull down, so you see it very easily. Like so concert, like and again, you push the hands and move. You can sometimes also take in this direction, so you go one side. Okay, let's do one round. If you have any questions, don't be shy, you can ask. Okay, no questions? Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Try to go, don't stay, you go over towards his head or you just change, change the uh, direction. Okay, so the next thing will be now we'll uh, usually from this uh, drill you can learn now the current the passes. So the thing will be now another thing how we do it. So usually I'm trying to turn his hip. So usually I go, for example, this way. And usually if I go, the person will try to follow by his hips. So he want to make again his hip, like his butt in front of me. When I feel this, so I just go, start to turn, I go this way. So I turn, sometimes it can be like this, sometimes it can be like this, but it can be like this. In this moment, I start to pull my hand inside his hip, and I point my head. Now as I point, point my head, now I will try to pass here. It's very important, sometimes I can make even one more step here, okay? Now he's trying to recover. Now I keep my hand on his knee. So there are two uh, uh, there are two things on this. Uh, if the knee is on the floor, you can see my hand, my knuckles way facing the floor. If he start to bring his elbow or knee like this, so from this grip I go like this. Okay? So I turn my knuckles towards the ceiling. And you see as you can see, I'm trying to stay. I put my uh, head on his chest and uh, I'm staying on my feet. So it's like a tripod pass. <laughs> okay? So it's very important to establish like your weight distribution, most of all on my head. Now he's trying to push me and I start to walk. I want to open his knee. Sometimes I walk, I walk, and I go here. 
I can post my knee here, and but also a few solutions can be. If he start to turn to me, usually I go, the question is I block already, I use my knee to block his knee, and he's going, for example, usually people were trying to grab the leg, I just insert cross face like this, and I grab my fingers, like 10 finger grip, my elbow go close to his right leg, and I start to stretch. I use my elbow, you can do the same by way in the knee, by grabbing his collar, and you point your elbow, elbow to the ceiling. So he's trying now to deep on the I stretch his face, and now I'm okay. Sometimes if my partner, he will just lay on his back, this will come uh, up. And also if he will keep on his shoulder, we will also look for back take. Okay, so okay. Again, I have grips, I go one way, I start to fall, and this now I do this one. I just like throw. So the north south pass also will be later, but now it will be around. I go one, okay. I go here, I put my again, my hands here, like I'm defending on his low ribs. I use my elbow against his. That's what usually the, the person will do if you will try to pray me. Yeah. yeah. Power. So against this, the basic pump, I'm just trying the first thing. I want to, from this angle, I want to make it feel like this. This is why I use my elbow, my left elbow. And here, you see, the place my arm is See, I use my elbow and push it like this. You can see this work like this. This hand already is here. He's trying to resist and start to walk. You see, I'm not dis disconnecting my head from his chest. I use him. He's trying to connect his elbow with his knee to recover the guard. It's a basic recovery. And I use my walk. I walk here. See, I post my knee to walk his hip now. If he starts to turn, for example, like this, and he's grabbing my leg, or he's just going to turtle, no problem. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. My pen go like this, cross face. I grab my finger finger grip. Sometimes you can be you can use this one. My personal preference like this grip. I put my elbow close to his back. And I see I lift my elbow. It's very important I'm not trying to choke him. I want to create a pressure on his chin. Because if his head turn this way. He, oh, his body will turn, it will fall off his head. His head. So I start to go, how much percent you can it? See, and I, my, my leg, I stretch it outside, like this. So uh, now we will end in the uh, situation when my partner just lay on his back. Like this. One, two. Also, no, if he's trying to still trying to turn, you can use this hand this way. Mm. I don't let him recover the guard. Okay. So, okay, let's so let's try this one. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay, one, two, three. Yes, he's trying to connect me. Uh, to to no outside. Against his. Uh, against his. And don't. Uh, yes. If he doesn't turn to you, if he doesn't turn to you, if to you, yes, and he starts to hand and go inside, yes, so you go like 10 finger grip, yes, post your elbow on the floor. Uh, can you can you turn? Yes. Ah, yes. Yes. Ah. 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 Yes.
going against my type. You see, I'm trying to yes. And you see, yes. And then, don't stay so wide. Yeah. It's a fusion ball game. Yes. Yeah. So more elbow over here. Yeah. Yes. And now the elbow will be different. Yeah. Shin, you can sneak. So I go one. I go here. So you can also use this for rotation. You do this move. Like you're driving the car. One. Again, okay. see I close my head and the hand. And I'm staying here. You start to push me away. I start to walk. Now I can put my knee. If, I want. if you start to turn towards me, I'm going to hold. And he's trying to go to Charleston. I go here. So you see, I use not this, the power is here. And now I pull one, two, if he's laying on his back, okay, you just take the second control. Okay, let's continue. One, two, three. See, you keep your always knees close to your chest, it's very important. When he start to pass, when he start to pass, he start to pass, wait, wait. So the thing is, you're trying to connect your elbow and your knee. It's like the basic like, of that tension. You're not trying to do something here. You need to do like this, it's all. You, you help your partner. You're trying to do this. And now he's trying to clean. Yeah. Okay. So also, you, the bottom person should give the right uh, reaction. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions, by the way? No, let's continue. This can be deeper, like, yes. And attach your chest to this chest. Okay. Connect your shoulder blades. Okay. This grabbing, oh, this is deeper, like, till the elbow. Yes. Okay. Yes. And grab this, uh, yes. And now, do this. <laughs> yes. 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 Now the elbow goes in to the, it touch the floor. Grab this arm in. Lift you, turn, turn your face to me. Your face like this. Lift his head. Now turn. Yes. Lift. Yes. Now come back. Stay your toes. Connect your shoulder blades. Yes. Yes. Put all the pressure. Yes. Okay. But you can do better. You can like try to connect your shoulder blades together. Like in the gym. Do this. Ah. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Sorry. 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 Yes. 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 Situation and he, for example, he turned, he's giving a leg. Snatch, but he's sitting, say, on his side. Probably different. 
you can see like this situation. So let's uh, take the effect tape. So I keep this angle. He's keeping this angle. So now I'll try to post my knee here. So you see, oh, my she posted this body. Now I'm uh, trying to destroy it. So he's really keeping the side. So now I go. I step over. And I take a back. Also, as an additional, if I have a good grip in the beginning, I can also continue to choke. You can see this uh, move by way. It was like in the one championship uh, the fight between Mike Musumich and uh, Masaka Suimana, uh, I'm saying in which it was the same big take of choke. So, if a person will pass, you stretch, and he's sticking up on the side, he don't want to give you uh, a side control. You see, I keep my grip is very deep. It's a criteria. You see my elbow, my elbow like continue his uh, chin. See it? Yeah? Just hanging. So now here, I'm trying to force my chin here. Yes. And now I have step over and I want to make my knee on the same as his shoulder line. And then do this. Let's continue to spin. I am not stopping here, I just show you uh, like by parts. But I continue to spin on this side. And after that, I can continue to choke. I will go on this side. Yeah, I was here. And usually it works. It's not like you just turn and you stop. Usually he's resisting, but he's trying to turn. I'm trying to fold him, fold him. So I do a spin on one, like, around. And I use my other free knee. It's very important that it goes not under his shoulder, but it uh, goes here. You're like scooping. And uh, you continue to grip. So you see, his grip was already like this. This is why it's so easy. After you need to see, you choke you. So it's good. Again, the brush is And here. I stretch, stretch, he continues to resist. I go. After that, you can close. Body triangle, up to you. It depends on, of course, your length of your legs. But if you can, immediately you close. If not, you just have a back take. Okay? You can go one, here, instead of one, two, instead to go. Here, instead to go, grabbing my leg. Yes, you see, I go one, two. He's not going into the side, he's continuing to go here. I go, grab. I go. Side one of options that you can use, but you need also to create this situation. Of course, you need to create a good passing, passing situation. When he's, he doesn't want to give you points, so he's trying to go for turtle to negotiate. To negotiate the uh, points for passing. Okay? Let's try one, two, three. Yeah. So while you're training this, it's a bit tricky move. So this is why don't try now to resist by connecting your knees, your hands. We just now teaching as we are learning. So I'm trying to position. So I'm trying to go here. I I letting my partner to, to train this. I don't try to connect my knees. See, I'm just trying to create with resistance. And now he's jumping. So. After that, when you learn this, because you need to learn the mechanics of the back takes. After that, of course, uh, it can be different uh, situations. When one knee inside, something like that, you need like sometimes you start to insert the knee, and then you need like to clean. 
it's a, all, all these things are going additionally when you're cleaning the knees, you step over. But the first thing you need this to understand. If a person, you have his grip, if a person do this, it's a back, a back exposure. exposure. And he's done with it. Okay? See this. Instead of a second row, I'm start to walk to uh, north south. So now my next job will be to press from this position and now taking from me to his leg. Because now to try to use his hands to push me away. So I push me away, now I start to press my leg. And I start to walk here. Like this. After 
after that you can go just to north south positions. When you go from north to the south positions, you may think you want your elbows to be inside his armpits. So I was here, I go here for example. Now I can go this way. Okay? Yeah. This way. Sometimes in this position, you can just, if you want to stay, just hold it here. Again, if he's continuing to roll on me, I may have a rush. Okay. This position, you see, bring in the quick position. Bring in position B. Go on, push here, stop the roll. And here is connecting well elbows and knee. I start to go here. I power my elbow inside his hip. I start pushing away with his hands. I grab his neck. So when I grab his neck, I grab it here and I start to pull it up. Come on, but I see me. Go here slowly. See, I'm here. Now I can go. Come on, here. You can go. Lay here if you want. If you want, if he's easy, he has super strong. I can go here. But I see my hand is inside his armpit. My hand inside his armpit. It's not a good situation, for example, if it's would be like this. I was trying to keep it here. Okay. You can stay here if you want. If you continue to turn, for example. Okay, I go here. Again, we, we can go to the situation when he's exposing his back. So that's why you can drill this move. Because usually there is some moment when the partner can expose his back and you can try to take it. Okay? One. And also, don't forget the bottom person. Try to do this move. It's a right uh, reaction from the bottom person. Number one. Go here, he starts to go He starts to continue to connect his elbow, knee, he starts to push me away. I go here, I follow my elbow inside, I get his neck, continue to walk here. I put my elbow inside his armpit, and go here. I can walk here if you want. If he's trying to turn, I go here again. You can do that much less quickly. You can connect your fingers, stretch. If you want, again, you can try. See? And then again, you can take the back if you want. You can only just sit. No problem, just sit. Okay, any questions? Yes. Okay. Well, it's like uh, not many variations, but again, you can go. Also, so if you can go here, you can go one. You can go in here. Just go for north south. If you want, he is like strong hands. Oops, is it? I beat in his frames like this. And my hand goes here. You can just say here. Yeah, I'm 
Thank you everybody for coming.